Hello everybody and welcome to the Fly plugin tutorial series. Today I'll be teaching you how to make a custom Minecraft plugin for buckets, big on paper, that lets you fly, including in survival mode. Please note that this video requires knowledge of Java and basic command creation. We cover commands in one of my earlier videos in this chapter, which is fully up to date. You can just look that video up, complete it before you jump into this one. It won't take you too long, maybe it takes 5-10 minutes to complete. Now, if you have no Java knowledge and you are completely a beginner, I do highly suggest you take a training. You do not just follow YouTube stuff because this can be very confusing. It can also get out outdated really quickly and there isn't any dedicated professional support. One of the trainings that offer live coaching calls on Zoom Zoom, plus seven weeks of pre-recorded content, plus 30-day money-back guarantee, and on top of that, it offers JetBrains paid licenses. It's called Project Orion. It covers over 200 different topics in bucket coding, and I will leave a link to it in the description. Having said that, let me just open up a command package that we're creating throughout this tutorial, and I can just create a very basic command off of, say, the crawl command. Again, I assume that you have seen the other video, so that this one will be very easy. I'll just call it the fly command, and I'm interested in keeping basically just the check right here. If you're interested in making this command targetable, I do recommend you check the source code with the last video that we made about vanish, because here the command actually can target, you will need to just copy paste this part so that you can actually target different players and make them fly as well. Here, I'll just assume if you type slash fly, you will make yourself fly no matter what. So that's pretty much it. I'm going to get myself as the player, cast the sender to the player because we make sure that we are not a console. If we are a console, we're just going to return the message. Very simple. And then right here, I'll just check if the player get a low flight. This is a bit strange, but that's how it works. There isn't an is, there is a get. That's one, th that one is actually a piece of very old code in bucket. So if we are, can fly, then I'm just gonna set allow flight to false. And then yes, the AI has properly generated that the flight has been disabled and I can just use chat color red to just put it uh, in a more nice way. And then here I'll just use the green one. Likewise, if you're not flying, I'm just gonna and I'll enable the flight. That's all there is to it. Also make sure to register a command in your own enable. For example, right here, we can do that. No, actually it's actually at the bottom. I like to have it next to the vanish command. So we have get command flight, say set executor fly command. I covered that specific part, how to create and register commands in that command video. Here, I'll just do a fly command re registration inside makes me fly inside this file as well, which is called plugin.yml. And it's quite easy. Again, guys, I cover everything, why it is there and all the keys, what they mean in that specific video. Having said that, let's crack into the game. Let's see what we have made. Now being in the game in survival mode, I can type in slash fly and it says flight enabled. And now I can simply double, double press space, just as if I am in creative mode. And there we go. I'm actually flying. And if I stop flying, there is no damage right here. The only way you can actually take flying damage is that if you type the command midair and now it says flight disabled. And now when I'm falling, I can no longer reactivate flying and I'll actually take the damage. There we go. This is how to create a beautiful fly plugin. It works for all game modes, including adventure, of course, game mode, survival, uh, go game mode, creative as well. And this is funny because you can actually deactivate flight mode in creative mode. So now it says flight disabled and now I'm having creative mode, but I can no longer fly, which is quite funny. And you can even use that as a spicy addition to your own server. Anyways, guys, I do hope that you enjoyed this video. If you want to learn more about making beautiful Minecraft plugins, see the course called Project Orion. The link to it again is in the video description and I will see you guys next time.